So the Boruto anime finally started a new arc where it's including Otsutsuki Urashiki, which that's something we've really been wanting, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually a little bit or pretty disappointed with how they've handled Sasuke's character thus far and the end of episode 120 and 120 just came out and I kind of wanted to give you guys my grievances if you haven't been checking out the Boruto anime this arc good things could come out of it but so far we're off to a very very bad start and I gotta go in I'm sorry I gotta let it be known what they doing to Sasuke Uchiha in the anime let's talk about it whether Facebook, Twitter, or the two, make sure to steer clear, cause I'm coming through like... So yeah, I got a, a, a little bone to pick with what Studio Periot is doing regarding handling Sasuke's character in the Boruto Naruto Next Generation's anime. Now, episode 120 began the arc with Uroshiki revived, uh, a battle against him. We got Sasuke and Gara first teaming up against him. Of course, Boruto showed up. We got Shukaku. We got a lot of really awesome key players back in the story, which is something that most of us have been wanting. You know, we had a lot of arcs of some boring, minuscule, who gives a, you know, <laughs> about the uh, arcs. We had a lot of episodes like that, but this arc started off something very interesting, something that the fans can actually say, okay. And you know, something that really bothers me too, is that from my understanding, Ukyo Kodachi, which not Masashi Kishimoto, the original creator of Naruto, but he was an assistant from chapter 7 on of uh, to Naruto to Masashi Kishimoto. He's the one writing this, right? The, or the manga, shall I say. But he actually is heavily involved with the anime. Not only is supposedly Masashi Kishimoto uh, involved in the anime, but Ukyo Kodachi supposedly supervises so that he eventually can incorporate certain things in case you don't know, certain events, certain characters, certain aspects of the Boruto anime has made its way despite it being anime only into the manga. So we know that there's some heavy involvement from the creators that are working on the manga. Now, in case you don't know, you should check out the Boruto manga. If you want that feel that Naruto manga gave you, it feels like it's there now. Like chapter 37 was incredible. Ever since I want to say chapter 24, when the Kara arc really kicked off, it's been fire. Boruto anime, different story. <laughs> Cause like, okay, manga again, we got some great stuff. We got team ups and something about Sasuke's character has been amazing. Because based on where we're at right now with the Boruto manga, Sasuke's character is showcasing that he's come even further from where we've seen him, you know, at the end of the Naruto manga in terms of he's better at strategy, he's gotten incredible, and you would argue that he surpassed Naruto. Whole different discussion for a whole different video on who's stronger, Naruto or Sasuke or whatever, but Sasuke has shown to be calm, calculated, you know, in, in the fight against Jigen, and I don't want to give away spoilers and shit like that. Obviously, there's some stuff with Jigen, you know, whatever. I don't even want to tell you exactly. If you don't know who Jigen is, go read the Boruto manga. But there, there was a, a pretty eventful moment, and it showed that Sasuke is on another level. Like, he's gotten even better. He's been training. He's been, you know, his adventure around the world has brought Sasuke to a better place in terms of just being a shinobi and in combat. Like, he's very calm. That's something. Let, let's note that right there. He is very calm and collected. He will not allow the villain to pull him out of his element. Now, if they decide to do some silly shit and show him not being that way in chapter 38 or beyond, then so be it. But up until this point, Sasuke is not making mistakes. He is actually doing some real motherfucking shit. Like, he is holding it down for our people. Anime, again, is a different story. So chapter or episode 120 of Boruto Naruto Next Generation at the end is when Uroshiki we see he's returned and midway into a battle we're thrown into this basically seeing that Gara and Sasuke are teaming up to fight Uroshiki because Uroshiki is trying to capture uh, Shukaku he wants to get I'm, I'm imagining he wants to get his chakra of some sort similar to what um, Momoshiki did when or the two of them what are, I, I can't remember both of their names but Momoshiki essentially when they showed up the two of them they were trying to capture the chakra of the tail beast right and they wanted to get Naruto they wanted to get all that so Uroshiki's kind of trying to do the same thing with Shukaku and Gara and Sasuke they're teaming up Great stuff. Awesome. Love it. Glad to see it because they were always very similar characters. I'll never forget again the moment where Gara started crying because he saw what Sasuke was, how he used to be, and he wished he could have helped him. Just talking about it is giving me goosebumps. I ain't gonna lie because that was a classic moment in Naruto. And we see Sasuke's character fighting Urashiki, and I'm like, yo, how we go from Boruto chapter 37, Sasuke is showing that he is probably in his prime. You could argue, well, no, maybe they end the Naruto, they had those special stages, six, five, five, whatever, but in terms of, like, being a fighter, 
fighting in general, combat, he's doing his thing. He's holding it down in the manga. In this fight against Urashiki, I can't say the same. I cannot say that that is the Sasuke Uchiha that had me just a couple days ago screaming and going crazy like, Yo, Sasuke, that, oh my god. Because in the anime, Sasuke basically essentially gets riled up and gets tricked by Urashiki to make a mistake and gets sent away. Now you could argue, hey, uh, maybe down the road it'll help or whatever. But regardless of what, basically Urashiki by taunting Sasuke, allowed him to get upset and charge at him without thinking, which is not Sasuke-like. Where we see Sasuke at in chapter 37 of the manga, which is ahead of the Boruto anime story-wise, you know, continuity-wise, he's not like that. <laughs> he's just not. He's calm, collected, he's strategizing and everything. But in the anime, he's just throwing balls to the wall, whatever, let me charge at you. And it costs him because he gets sent to another dimension by Urashiki. Now, granted, we know Sasuke has the, the power from the Renegon where he could jump from dimensions and stuff like that. But regardless of what... To see Sasuke make a mistake like that, which at the end of the day, that leaves Gara by himself, that leaves whoever is there in, in the battlefield to fight Urashiki by themselves, is like, what are you doing, Studio Periyat? Why, or, or even Ukyo Kodachi, how are you passing this through to showcase, like, there's better ways to have Urashiki catch a W or for Sasuke to take an L than to make him make a big mistake like getting upset based on the words of his opponents. Of course, Sasuke, they're going to taunt him. You know, he's had plenty of people taunt him like, you know, your, your whole clan is dead. What do you think you're going to do? You know, it's happened before. But to see Sasuke at this point being a sensei, that is Boruto's instructor. Boruto looks up to this guy, mind you. Like in episode 120 or 121, Boruto heads out. Because he wants to find Sasuke. That's how much he admires him. He goes on a little journey. Of course, we got some filler stuff. A, a, a little girl named Isago. A couple of different things. Really cool stuff with Shukaku. Which, by the way, just a side note. Shukaku blasting Urashiki with that giant blast was freaking incredible. Absolutely loved that moment. I thought that was sick as hell. Like, just seeing the tail beast again. It's like, finally, you know what I'm saying? These were very pivotal points to the manga. Very pivotal points to Naruto. What happened to them? And them incorporating that Urashiki's trying to capture him. Very, very big deal. Very awesome stuff. Seeing him blasting him away. And then he gets turned into like a little chibi one because they put him in a rice cooker. Which, by the way... Dragon Ball all the way, baby. You're not telling me that that ain't inspired by the Mafuba or wherever the uh, influence was to create the Mafuba. If there was any of like a rice cooker, basically, uh, Gara puts Shukaku in a rice cooker and now he's like a chibi form. Like funny stuff there. Awesome. Like aside from that moment, Boruto anime, the past two episodes, 120 and 121, been pretty solid. But I cannot ignore that they're making Sasuke look like something that he is not. Sasuke does not make rookie mistakes like that no more to get thrown into a portal and then let's just say hypothetically speaking okay uh while sasuke is gone gara would have been killed right there over a rookie mistake that sasuke just ain't making anymore again I'm, I'm gonna keep referencing to the fight that's going on in the manga right now sasuke ain't making those mistakes he's far from that he's arguably in his prime he arguably has far surpassed i don't even want to say arguably it seems 100 legit he surpassed naruto so if he surpassed Naruto, how is he making silly mistakes like getting thrown into a portal based on just being antagonized by Urashiki? It don't make no sense. It doesn't feel like that Sasuke. And that's where I was like, bro, you have an opportunity of a lifetime right now to make the anime pop. The anime is in Slugville. People ain't really rocking with the Boruto anime. This is some really interesting stuff. And I still would argue, yo, check it out. If, if you don't want to watch everything else, you haven't watched it in a long time. Episode 120. And 121 are out right now, the latest two episodes, and start this arc against Urashiki and stuff like that. Go check it out. But you can't be doing our boy like that. Nah, we too far in right now, bro. You cannot. He has a daughter. He's a, a sensei. He got a wife. And he's making these little mistakes because, bro, what are you doing right now, Studio Periot? I, I really was disappointed with that. I was really disappointed, especially like, yo, okay, we have a very, very big arc just started it just starts right there the fight as a matter of fact gara and him teaming up of course gara keeps taking el Urashiki. every time i think of gara versus urashiki just like the last time gara keeps getting like bopped in a, in a way and i'm like we doing this really this is how we rocking right now like what are you doing bro but then the the sasuke moment i'm like so is it two different characters or studio periot is just they're, they're, they're trying to take the piss roll now mate like what are you doing right now i'm chill i'm just saying like Studio Perry, how you, how you doing, my boy Uchiha Sasuke, like that? Like, getting tricked? 
Like, yo, what is he, Vegeta in the Cell Saga? Like, yo, I'm just saying. Ooh, them shots at Vegeta. Nah, I love Vegeta. I'm just saying, like, Sasuke. You can't be making these mistakes, fam. Especially, no, no, no. It's not even Sasuke's fault. It's not the character. It's the studio. Because it's not even core-wise, manga, Sasuke, beast. Anime-wise, Sasuke, rookie mistakes, baby. Rookie mistakes. And I got to call him as I see him. Awesome, interesting arc. Sasuke making mistakes. Gara still taking L's. Shinky's pretty cool. Boruto, whatever. He's involved. I'm not a big Boruto fan. I ain't gonna lie. And Shukaku's Blast. So, very annoying part to an interesting arc. Hope they turn this shit around. I can't do it. Like, yo. Sasuke's too OP right now. Too freaking beast to be playing games with the dude's name. I'm just saying like Studio Periot. Fix this. Curious what you guys think about this for manga readers. How do you feel knowing Sasuke is making mistakes and getting bodied essentially, not completely, but getting bopped around because of mistakes in the anime in comparison to what we know he's doing in the manga. Also, if you haven't checked this out, again, if you like some Naruto anime, Boruto anime 120 and 121, arguably I even say if you want, because 120 it starts off with like Boruto trying to track down Sasuke, it's not until the end, probably even skip to the end of 120, I'm just keeping it real, I like to tell y'all, I don't want to waste y'all time, skip to the end of 120 is where you really see Gara and Sasuke and all that, probably like, I don't know, 15 minutes in or some shit like that, skip there, and then you, you can enjoy from there on, because the next episode after that, it's pretty interesting and entertaining, and your overall thoughts, expectations, I'm hoping this arc turns it around in a major way, we still got some awesome stuff to go, we still got cool things happening, just stop playing with Sasuke's name, boy. That Uchiha name been through enough. But that's all I have for this one, though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Hit that bell and make sure you get all notifications so the next time Studio Perry out plays games with Sasuke's name, you will know because I will tell you. And if you want to follow any of my other social media links, of course, in the description below. I'm for Neverworld. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Ooh, anime and manga for life boy have an awesome day peace in and stop playing with sasuke's name i'm just saying enjoy the next ride but i was the best ride but i hope you know that